So I just finished filming my four hairstyles. If you like this video, if you want to know more about my hair, let me know down below. It was very basic and I probably taught you guys nothing, but I literally only do these things with my hair. So sorry to disappoint. Uh, yeah, I tend to do that. Welcome to my channel. Anyways, have a great day, night, whatever time it is. Look what time it is for me. Oh, it's, uh, uh oh gosh, it's 2.15 in the morning, so I gotta go. Okay, so look, number one is this, which is just however my hair decides to dry. I let my hair air dry, so it dries pretty straight, but when it hits my shoulders, it flips, so you can see it flips out here. And then this part flips in because I tuck it behind my ear, so it pulls it in. But then it flips out down here at my shoulders, and this part usually flips in because I'll tuck it behind my ears or while it's dry, I will pull it back. So this is the first look. I don't own a brush, but I do own fingers, so I'll just finger comb my hair. And this is look one. Really simple, obviously, natural. Okay, so for look number two, we're getting a little bit fancier. So I'll take and put it behind one ear. This is pretty much what I wear every other day that my hair isn't like this. Yeah. And then sometimes I wanna be extra fancy. I'll tuck it behind both ears. And then it looks like this. If you're wondering, uh, why don't you have like any layers in your hair or any shape or any style to your hair? I'm gonna make a video all about my hair. I'm growing it out to donate it, so I'm leaving it just how it is. I'm gonna make a hair history video soon though because I have quite an exhausting hair history. Yeah. Okay, so the third style is one that I do a lot, a lot, a lot. So this is a half up, half down style. So I take a finger or a thumb and go right at the corner of my ear and pull it up at the side until it reaches the middle at the back of my head. And then oh, I like up here, nice and pulled tight. And then, once it looks like this, I'll grab an elastic, a big elastic, a small elastic. It doesn't really matter. This elastic was obviously, oh gosh, this elastic's really tight. Oh, what the heck? Ow. I found this elastic on my floor in my room. I thought it would be good. So, this is what it looks like from the side and the back. You can see this in some of my other videos. Classic me hairstyle. Ow. Oh. Oh. I lost a lot of hair from that. All right, the last look is just as simple as the other ones. You just need a headband of some sort. I usually use a thicker headband, but I just found this in my room and I want to show you with a small headband. So I take my comb, my finger comb. You can obviously use a brush if you want this neater. And you finger comb your hair back. And then take this headband. And then I make sure it's in the center at the back of my head. And then the finger comb my hair back more. Oh no, I just got lipstick on this. And these earrings are not meant for headbands. But then I just slide this like that. And then I flip my hair out crazy around it. I like this because it gives my hair volume that my hair does not have. Yes, just like this. So I like it to go back, but then up and out and around. This is something that I would wear when I was a kid. And you know what? 
the 90s are back in style. So you can wear your hair crazy like this. And then obviously this works with a ponytail. The only time that I'll wear my hair in a real ponytail, not a half ponytail, is if I'm wearing a headband. Because then the little pieces at the back of my head actually stay up. So yeah, this is what this looks like. It gives the illusion of volume in my hair. Yeah, I don't know what else to say about this. Four helps so much with doing the winged eyeliner sash. It's a little tip if you struggle doing winged eyeliner, you can just put something sharp at the edge of your eye. And by sharp, I mean something super straight, not anything sharp, please. So that's the other eye done. And now I'm using Cha Cha Tint. And this is the...